A summer heat wave creates soaring demand for energy. Temperatures climb and so does the amount of energy we use. We all know what that feels like. Utilities charge you based on your energy use and your peak demand. Your peak demand is your highest energy draw of the month. If you reduce your peak demand, you can save money. And you can save all year long by streamlining building operations. There are many ways to do this. Use the most efficient equipment and operate it optimally. For example, run systems during off-peak hours when possible, or reduce service during periods of high demand like heat waves. When your peak demand occurs during the day, maybe you don't really need all the lights on, or maybe the air conditioning thermostat can be set a degree or two higher. These small service changes won't be noticeable, except in your bottom line. You're simply leveling your energy use to avoid spikes, which is load shaping. And you can practice load shaping with three strategies, energy efficiency upgrades, service reduction and timing, and energy storage. Let's look at some practical examples. Energy efficiency upgrades include a variety of products. Use compact fluorescents, T8s with electronic ballast, or LEDs to improve lighting efficiency, or replace chillers and boilers with more efficient models. Use window films to reduce solar heat gain. This helps your AC use less energy to maintain a comfortable temperature. You can also upgrade air conditioning units in key locations like data centers to reduce the energy used by your building equipment and prioritize maintenance jobs that enhance efficiency. Service reduction and timing can contribute greatly to energy conservation. For example, use a building management system to program your system to run at off-peak times. Set an energy peak with demand control software. Stagger startup times on major systems. Rest some elevators during high demand periods. Use daylight sensors to turn off lighting near windows and use motion sensors to turn off lights in empty rooms or increase your air conditioning thermostats by a few degrees. The energy storage industry has made great strides in the last few years. Consider storing thermal energy by making ice at night when energy is cheaper. Then use it to cool your building during the day. Or charge batteries at night to run some systems during the day. And there's another way to address your energy cost. Join Con Edison's Demand Response Program, which pays customers like you to reduce energy use during electric system peaks, typically during a weekday afternoon in the summer. It's a good deal for you, your energy bill, and the environment. As more customers use energy in more efficient ways, we will be able to reduce the cost of delivering energy, and that benefits everyone. Hopefully, we've encouraged you to explore your energy management options. We provide incentives and can help you find resources such as architects, engineers, consultants, and contractors. These strategies and programs will save you money and give you a comfortable, energy-efficient building for years to come. Contact us to learn how we can help you reduce your energy costs.